few days ago, Indian Defence Minister and Foreign Minister were in US for signing few crucial pacts with America. This 2 plus 2 meeting also included video call between Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Joe Biden. What if we told you that now India will be able to understand motives behind any suspicious orbit changes of satellites from other countries and that we will also be able to know if those foreign satellites are spying or harming our assets in space. For expanding India's space situational awareness, India is building its own capabilities and also cooperating with more than one country. Hello everyone, welcome to Resonant News. In January 2022, a private satellite tracking company spotted a Chinese spacecraft apparently grabbing and throwing a dead satellite away into a graveyard orbit, which is 300 kilometers away. James Dixon, commander of the US Space Command, said in April 2021 that technology like China's SJ-21 could be used in future systems for grappling satellites of other countries. In its 2021 counter-space report, the Secure World Foundation said that there is strong evidence that both China and Russia are working to develop technology with counter-space capabilities, the ability to destruct space systems. While Russia is India's ally, India cannot expect China to not use its counter-space abilities against Indian satellites. This is why space situational awareness becomes extremely important for India. On April 12th, India and United States signed a bilateral space situational awareness SSA arrangement. This Memorandum of Understanding, which was signed this year, will clear the way for ISRO's Netra in Bengaluru to start collaborating with American Combined Space Operations Centre, CSPOC, to protect satellites of both the nations from natural and man-made threats. This is a major development. Without much ado, let us just explain how this new SSA arrangement will impact India. Presently. India has a total of 53 operational satellites in space. Space debris, even a small piece of it, can cause a lot of damage to the satellites. And it's a major problem faced by satellites of every country in the world today. Add to it the fact that countries like China have been irresponsible about their satellites and rocket re-entry. Till recently, India depended on data from NORAD and others available in public domain for information regarding space debris. NORAD, or North American Aerospace Defense Command, is an initiative of the US and Canada that shares selective debris data with many countries. But NORAD doesn't give accurate information. This is why India decided to collaborate with US through SSA arrangement. This will also empower NETRA as NETRA is soon expected to become involved in various international collaborations. As US is not the only country with which India is collaborating for SSA. So, what is NETRA? ISRO had set up a dedicated SSA control center called NETRA, Network for Space Object Tracking and Analysis, in December 2020 at Bengaluru. The project is estimated to cost rupees 400 crores. Other than predicting threat from space debris, it will also serve as an unstated warning against missile or space attack for a country. Under Netra, the ISRO plans to put up many observational facilities, connected radars, telescope, data processing units, and a control center. They will be able to spot, track, catalog, objects as small as 10 cm and up to a range of 3,400 km. With this, the ISRO, which has placed satellites to track the Earth from above, will also start training its eyes on space from Earth. NETRA's eventual goal is to cap geostationary orbit seen at 36,000 km, where communication satellites operate. SSA, like we said earlier, also has a military quotient to it. ISRO will put up high-precision long-range telescope in Leh and a radar in Northeast. 
these are also areas where Chinese army sits across the Indian army. Along with them, ISRO will also use multi-object tracking radar (MOTR) that was put up at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Hari Kota, and the telescopes at Ponmudi and Mount Abu to get a broad SSA picture. With long-range tracking radars, SSA provides us the capability of an early warning system against ballistic missiles coming in at a height. Combined with other elements of military intelligence, SSA would help us understand motives behind any suspicious orbit changes of other satellites and to know if spying on or harming our spacecraft. On March 27, 2019, India tested an anti-satellite weapon. ASAT during an operation code named Mission Shakti the target was a live satellite in the low earth orbit of 300 km using a modified interceptor of the ballistic missile defense system it is obvious that it was a clear response to an assessment of growing threats in outer space india and france have been cooperating in the area of space for several decades Since 2019, both the countries are co-developing a constellation of 10 to 15 satellites that could help monitor the maritime traffic in the Indian Ocean. France has signed technology cooperation arrangements with the ISRO, and space situational awareness is also a part of it. Earlier this year, in the month of February, ISRO's chief and Israel's ambassador had met to discuss status of ongoing cooperation activities. in earth observations space science satellite navigation and space situational awareness also the human space flight india and israel also have been collaborating in space sector for over a decade now in 2011 israel had supplied india with a radar imaging satellite which was later renamed resat 2 This boosted India defenses as it provided India with an eye in the sky to safeguard its borders. So India is expanding its space situational awareness by cooperating with other country with more than one country. Few weeks ago, a Chinese rocket parts misunderstood as a meteor landed in Nagpur and also a missile misfire by India had landed in Pakistan. It's assured that India will at least now be safe against any flying objects from other countries or spying of its satellites.